In recent times in Ghana, the Ghana government has decided to come up with STEM schools, which they have practically started building and, you know, bringing into the limelight for all Ghanaians, okay? And in recent times, we've seen that they have actually promoted these STEM schools. And recently, they launched seven new STEM schools, which I am going to be listing out for you here in this video with pictures to also, you know, show you guys what they look like. Now, before we jump right into listing them out let's talk about what these stem schools are and what they do so basically stem schools are schools that talk about or that teaches strictly sciences technologies engineering and mathematics courses so stem schools are basically for science technology um, engineering and mathematics courses so this is like a hands-on school okay like a practical hands-on school they basically practice uh, things around the sciences things around engineering things around technology things around mathematics and all of that so this is basically school for talented young um, africans like if you have talent or you are good in some technologies or you are good in you know very you are very good in like engineering stores or mathematics or or sciences and all of that discovery and all that then this is the school that is built for these young african um, students or people now one thing you want to understand about stem schools is that they are focused on um practicals like they are practical schools okay they are schools that instead of you you know turning around some things that you are confused about in our regular schools they just take you straight to what you can do what you know how to do what you are good at and then they bring out that basic talent that is in you now if you are an african you will agree with me that there are some african children or some african youth that are actually good in manufacturing they are good in mathematics they are good with the sciences they are good with technologies like they are good in bringing out things to light but there is no platform for them to shine okay like there is no platform for them to shine there is no platform for them to you know show out their talent to do all these things for the world to see and i feel like these schools are practically directed to them like to such people students or people that are talented in sciences and uh, technologies you can produce something you can you know bring out something you can discover something or you have something in your mind that can actually at the end of the day be helpful to africans or to ghana nation and all of that this school is actually focused and directed to them and in this period or in these recent times we've seen ghana government actually putting more funds into the stem schools and recently they launched seven new stem schools i'm going to be leaving the pictures of the schools on your screen so that you can see how they look like and whatever so but then again before i jump right into you know telling you the names of these stem schools and where they are located i want to actually welcome you to the channel if you are new to the channel hello and welcome thank you so much for stopping by please consider subscribing and joining this family okay so that you can continue to get helpful information like this one because in this channel i make content that are valuable and that you are definitely going to love so go ahead and click the bell button below that says subscribe like this video share with your friends and families and leave me your thoughts about this video in the comment section okay you guys so yeah quickly let's jump right if you see me looking down i'm actually looking at my notes i wrote them down i don't want to miss anyone out so yeah let's look at it but one is the abomosu stem school and this one is located in eastern region of ghana okay the number two is the percent best stem school and this one is located in the northeast region of ghana okay and this other one is the bosom Twe girls stem school and the bosom Twe uh, stem school both of them are located in ashante 
of um, Ashanti region of Ghana, okay? And the next one, which is like the number fifth one, okay, is the Awosu STEM School, and this one is located also in East Region of Ghana. And the sixth one I have here is the Accra Senior High School, and it has a STEM center. It's also like a STEM center, okay, and it's located in the Greater Accra region. And this one, which is the last one, is the Afihia uh, STEM School, and it is also located in Ashanti region. Now, my thoughts about this um, STEM school. First of all, these STEM schools are located in every part of Ghana. There are different regions where these STEM schools are located, and it's easier for anybody to actually enroll. So. For me, I feel like this is something that is very, very good when it comes to the development of Ghana and Africa as a whole. Okay, because if we have like basic um, structures like this, where you have people directed to what they love to do, what they are talented to do, what they want to do, what they longing to do, I feel like it's easier for you to bring out the best in in person whether an african or whether a western person is just easy because if you look at this stem system it's something that has been happening in the western world for a long time now and i'm happy that it's starting to you know come up in africa and ghana has decided to you know start it and it's very very intriguing it's very very uh, promising is something that is a very very good development because if you actually look at it like what I just said instead of you struggling with you know dealing with other courses doing some things that you don't like all in the name of you need to go to school okay it's just better for you to focus on the things that you like to do the things that you are good at the things that you are talented at and when you are doing something that you are talented at it's easy for you to be successful at it because you just hit it heads on like you just know what to do okay you just know what to do you just it's just easy for you to go about doing it it just flows from your inside it's super easy it's not something that you are forced to do or you struggle to do so i feel like more african countries should actually um follow the lead of the ghana government in terms of you know bringing out these stem schools because if you agree with me you know that there are a lot of african children there are a lot of african youths that actually know something inside or inside of them like they have talent basic talent inside of them that is looking forward to come out but there is no platform for it to you know happen and these stem schools are actually foundational platform for this kind of um, people to actually thrive and this is something that i love so much this is something that i support this is something that i was happy about when i discovered it like they started the ghana government have started this um process in a long time i think they started this in like 2021 or so but since that time till now they have been really really serious about putting in their efforts and putting on uh putting in resources to actually bring these stem schools into light which is they know that these things are going to be helpful to the african society and in ghana and that is the more reason why they are putting in all their effort and of course this period we have seen that their effort has actually paid off because it has really helped a lot of African youth to actually just direct their focus to what they are talented at doing and, you know, trying to bring out, helping them to bring out that part of them that is looking forward to be, um, to be uh, brought out, you know. So I feel like this is actually a good step to developing the African society. And if every African country can actually look at doing this, it's definitely going to help in the development of Africa. So I want to really give kudos to the Ghana government. They are really doing a lot. They are trying. They are, you know, seeing the future from today and they are building on it. This is just one thing I love about um, the Ghana government. They know what it is to do when it comes to future generation they're actually really looking at the future of the Ghana generation so I want you to let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about these um, STEM schools what do you think is the reason why they are bringing out these STEM schools what are your thoughts what do you think that is going to happen if these STEM schools 
continue to you know be around in other african um, countries or communities what do you think is going to happen do you think the ghana government are actually on the right path to actually bring in on the stem schools or do you think this is a total waste of time is not what it and everything everybody should go to the normal regular school that we know you know not straight to primary to secondary to university and then you graduate and come out and start looking for a job <laughs> on something that you do not even like okay so what are your thoughts what do you think do you think that the ghana government is on the right path or do you think that they are not on the right path do you think it's something that every other african countries or communities should then relate do you think it's something that every other um african community um government should emulate so let me know your thoughts in the comment section thank you so much you guys for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe to the channel because there are more and more beautiful content coming your way you don't want to miss it subscribe to the channel like this video and yes you guys i'll see you in that video bye